section H problem 4 spring clip where we will use sweep to create this part then use cut extrude to make these two features on top and bottom so let's start let's start with the front plane to create a part first make the center line and before let's change this to IPS system and again select the sketch edit sketch now let's start with the part so I'll take an arc now select line you can press L key for line constrain the center point and constrain these endpoints with this line by making coincident. Now let's give the dimensions. This is one point. This is point three five, point four five, point six five, and this distance between these two points 1.75 lastly this point and the origin this is 0.45 so one side is complete now we can select everything pressing ctrl a and mirror now we don't need this line so we will trim it and create one line from this point make it tangent then this distance from this point to this point that we know it would be 1.25 minus 0.15 because we are not cutting all the way we have to keep that 0.15 so the sketch is complete now let's sketch the profile for that again we can uh, create a reference point first now go to the right plane this time we are sketching above the path this is point 3 the point constraint with this line make coincident and the boundary of the circle with this point coincident this is constrained we can go to swept boss piece the sketch profile is selected and the circular profile is this one select both the ways and done now we have to cut so for that we'll go to the front plane first from the sweep select the sketch one and convert it so we can have some reference geometry now select the sketch again and offset it by 0.3 so we have all the references that we need now close the sketch and uh, also align from the center point we can trim this and all these lines that we do not need So on the top the profile is complete now let's come to the bottom create lines like this then this dimension this distance would be 0.15 into 2 so that is 0.3 trim these lines So this is done both the top and bottom now we can go to extruded cut now from here we have to keep some offset distance before cutting 
and here we have to go only in one direction so this offset as uh, shown in the sketch this is 0.1 so we have to leave 0 0.1 uh, 0.05 from the center so let's take 0 0.05 Uh, 0.05 and let's keep this uh, let's change the direction and deselect this uh, direction too if this is selected so now we have what we need here keep through all and uh, we are leaving this 0.5 distance from the center so this is done now we can just uh, mirror this the last cut about this front plane this is showing the preview enter and this is done now come to the front plane again we can go to this sketch and convert it for reference now create a circle make it tangent with all the three lines so it would be completely constrained now another circle from the center this is for the hole it is 0.15 now we have to trim the unnecessary lines so trim these and make a center line to keep the constraints now you can trim this so you have uh, this side 1 2 and 3 everything that you need to cut through all so we will go to features extruded cut now select all the contours that we need to cut and these two circles and we have to select cut through all and both the directions now it is done so let's apply the material steel AISI 1020 density is 0.2854 you can uh, calculate it apply close let's check the mass A 0.15 pounds let's check 0.1456 so let's uh, take this to four decimal places use custom settings 0.1456 pounds and 0.1456 pounds so this is the correct answer next part in the next video thank you